Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our... Sweden is definitely OP. Of course, they do have to... Yeah, so Protestant, sweet. We do have to deal with a lot of rebellion, of course, but, you know, it is what it is. We're trying to become Protestant. It's a big deal. So, Perm, if you could go ahead and rebel right now so I can bring these troops back and do something useful with them, that would be great. That would be really handy, in fact. Supply limit is only 11. I feel like we should probably not march out there. Supply limit here is 15. Here, let's let's hang out till the end of the month with the leader in charge to try to reduce attrition. Then we'll unappoint the leader. I'm assuming you can make it there before the end of the month. Ah, you suck. Okay. Take the leader. Get out of that province. So we can avoid this 3.4%. We'll teleport the leader down here. We'll have him take care of these two rebellions. It's the Livonians who are going to fire next. So... Fortunately, there's a lot of forts near the Livonians. I'm just concerned about Perm being so far away. Of course, Perm's... We might need... Nah, it's only three development. Let's bring one of you guys back. And we'll train... Some more guys. Get some more cannons. And a couple of actual infantry. And just try to use a smaller stack to deal with the Livonians. Hess is now Catholic. You have no leader. Actually, you have three maneuver. Never mind. Oh, we have five maneuver. No straight crossing. Cool. Kill him. Alright. Can our zone of control from Finn... Project into Slevsig. Looks to me like the answer is no. Zones of control don't work over straits. That's kind of weird. Isn't it? Or, wait, what? So you're taking, you're taking... Control of Midgillen is being reverted to Sweden from the fort in Midgillen. So I have a fort here. Why isn't Slepsik being taken back? We have a zone of control right here. There's the Livonians. And one of them is moving to the fort, which is cool. You guys need to get to Norva. That's really weird, though. Slepsik should be getting... Why is it not considered adjacent? Land technology research useless. I disagree completely. Well, they both moved to the fort. Excellent. That's going to give me plenty of time to get some troops down. Of course, it would be nice if it was a larger number of troops. We are now reformed here. Wonderful. It's not what we want, but... Okay. The Norwegian separatists. We gotta we gotta march up that way. So you need to come up here. Fast as you can get up there. And there they go. Well, there is a fort, but Bergenschuss is going to fall. I think we can stop this one. It's not going to stop my conversions, though. That is a big army. Can we afford to maybe uh, just widen it out a bit? 114 days? That's too long. There's the Permians. Good. Let's grab the leader. And hopefully this fort will hold long enough that I can actually bring these 11 over to join this army. So we'll deal with Perm. 
Another province switched to reformed. Less than ideal. But it's okay. No, we just lost our discipline guy. Crap. And the land force limits guy is not really what I have in mind right now. Okay. Ninety percent Estonian separatists. That would be down here. Yeah, it's okay. We got troops nearby. Marching to Akershus. Okay, fine. We'll take care of both armies at once. Sure, Perm, you can have access. It's fine with me. We're going to make it through this just fine. Don't worry. We are losing our war, technically. Gain a general of 50 tradition. Sweet! Thanks, game. I mean, it's not bad. I'll take him. It's alright. Hey, Bergen and Schuss, you gonna automatically come back under our control because of the Fort and Akershus? Huh? Thank you. Okay, see, it is. I just... I feel like you shouldn't have to zoom that far out, or it should have an interface thing here. Zero percent chance. I'm getting too close on this. Let's put our five maneuver guy in charge so he can march a little bit quicker. We will hire the level one guy, because he's the only one we can really take. And we will take the available mercenaries and the manpower recovery speed, please. Yes, thank you. I'd also really like military tech 11, please. If we could go ahead and not have a 301 regency console, that would be great. Okay, we have plenty of time. They're not going to take it with a 7% chance. I'm, I'm sure of it. Totally sure. Meanwhile, church power. So despite the conversions, we still have a lot of revolt risk. If it wasn't for the recent uprisings, we'd still have positive unrest. But we're going to get through this. I'm confident. Lithuania is allied Hungary. I liked it better when I had a bonus little bit to discipline. Alright, um... Now it's definitely starting to feel a little bit more manageable. Look at that. That's the revolt risk map mode. It's not looking so bad. Church reduction. What the hell is that? Church reduction. Church reduction. The obligation of the church to lend the state money in the form of silver chalices. Okay, yeah, that's that temporary modifier. That'll go away in a year. Alright, cool. Looking pretty manageable. Meanwhile, manpower's actually come back. I guess we should probably go and smash this army so that we can win our war. Well, they keep they keep winning fights, actually. Maybe I don't need to go down there. I think they, they routed them and they went somewhere else. There's still probably a 20 stack out there. No, it looks like the numbers are pretty significantly in our favor. I do want to try to avoid converting stuff that's near the reform centers, because I don't want them to just get converted back. It'd be a waste of time. Empty words! Hmm. This doesn't look good. The Edict of Tolerance proclaimed by Regency Council a short while back has proven to be nothing more than mere words. There have been several violent incidents and atrocities against the religious minority groups since the declaration where Council, Regency Council has taken the stance of complete ignorance. 
Our time is better spent elsewhere or issue a new edict. Just gain unrest. Well, this will tick down really quickly, so whatever. Akur... Akuri... That place. Damn it. Are you serious? You're gonna put rebels out here? You suck, game. The last thing I want to do is deal with the freaking island invasion. There's no unrest out here. Fine, we'll issue a new edict. Spend monarch points to avoid stupid island. Hate islands. Okay. Income's kind of getting low, actually. We're still paying for reinforcement, apparently. Yeah, I guess this army did take a, a fair beating. And these ones are not getting that close, actually. Let's start converting some of the stuff that's really far away. And religious zeal. Hey, sweet! Ostergotland got converted. Thank you. And Blacking's being taken care of. Look at that, we're at 30%. Sweet. We're totally going to be Protestant. It's going to be awesome. Meanwhile, you guys need to win your war, okay? Where the hell does 23,000 come from? Well, they're about to siege down the war leader's capital. And only province. Look at that, mines. Only has one province. What a loser. He needs to watch my campaign. Multiplayer campaign, learn how to expand. Stupid dummy. Uh, we have two out of one leaders, so that's unfortunate. I mean, normally that 50 tradition guy would be amazing, but when you when you hire a general with 88 tradition, you're pretty likely to get a better one. And our guy is better in every way. So yeah, unfortunately you're fired, dude. You're holding, off, holding us off from Military Tech 11. Which is far more important than whatever you're offering. Alright, so... 37 infantry, only one cavalry. Where's our one cavalry at? It's hanging out over here. I mean, cavalry still still has its purpose, right? We did pick up, like, a modifier to cavalry. They're a little bit cheaper. That's it. I don't know if that's just like, enough justification to, like, hire a bunch of them. I, I still feel like our infantry are so strong. I'd rather just keep doing infantry. Ooh, wow, I already have 16 artillery. Cool. That number's starting to grow. Alright, we only have three years left on this. Our uh, religious zeal till so September of 39. So we should be able to fit a few more conversions in. I'd like to get the capital converted. Because without that bonus, we'd be at 1.1%. So we should definitely convert this one soon. Achieve religious unity. It is definitely a, an admirable goal. And hold off for a moment. Another guy's getting converted by a center. Sweet. Hey, look, even less legitimacy. Briga seems rather upset. Come on, centers of reformation, come to my aid. Convert more. I only see one active. I've been so lazy, game. Okay, we're gonna convert our capital.
I like how this is postponing the Doc feud, the Doc war. So religious unity at 90%. Oh, that's right, we're at war, so we can't lower autonomy. I keep bouncing back and forth. Like, Mainz, you realize your capital is occupied, right? Why have you not ended the war when you have negative 54 enthusiasm? And the war leader has 20 war exhaustion. Like, you guys are all crazy. Frankfurt just got pieced out. Is it a separate war? Looks like it. Oh, that's why they were doing alright, it's because there was a separate war that Frankfurt was helping out. They were working together. Alright, I guess I gotta go help now. Hansa hates me, so they won't give me military access. We don't have military access. Crap. Hey, Warsburg, you have 30 war score. Just piece him out. Or I'll do it. I mean, I'll white peace, if that's what it takes, so that I don't lose Defender of the Faith. Yeah, I mean, I don't care. I'll just keep Defender of the Faith. If you're gonna be an idiot and not peace out, I don't understand why you wouldn't do that. Alright, I'm gonna try to convert, maybe... Uh, we'll focus on the provinces that are difficult to convert, like anything at the bottom of the list. Dorpat. So we could barely convert Dorpat without the bonus. Dorpat's probably fairly high. Why is it so low? Not except culture. That's a part of it. Alright, well, I'll convert that one. Gonna be a little while for the next rebellion. Manpower reserve needs to recover. I agree. Of course, conquering Holston would be great. The problem is that the Hansa is uh, a prince, so we'd have to fight Austria. Let's take this one simply because I do have the Regency Council for six more years. It'll give us something to do while we're trying to get through this trying time. Lithuania, stop being such a dummy. Oh god, they have no legal heir. If they just weren't outraged and they were our friend, we could totally be quit pressing our, uh, we could claim their throne. Ah, shoot, we need 50 legitimacy too. Damn it! All my plans failing! I didn't even know you needed to do that. I didn't realize you had to have 50 legitimacy for claiming someone's throne. Oh well. We'll just have to do what we can. About two and a half years left till we lose our modifier. Afterwards, we'll still have two missionaries, and we can still hire an Inquisitor or something. Manpower recovery is pretty solid, 660 a month. Got seven artillery over here. And nine artillery over here. Let's get two more over on this side. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to take a break here.
See you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.